today i am going to explain experiment 6 of physics 2 the discharge of a capacitor so what is our objective of today experiment we are going to measure the input impedance of a voltmeter using discharge of a capacitor so we are going to charge the capacitor and after that we are going to discharge that capacitor with that we are going to find what should be the input impedance in the voltmeter generally the input resistance of the voltmeter is a very large value it should be in terms of mega ohms so we are going to find the input impedance of a voltmeter so for this experiment we are going to use this equation natural log of v which is equal to minus 1 over r multiply by c multiply by t plus natural log of v not generally this equation will not given in this form so we will give this equation like this format so which format natural log of v which is equal to minus 1 over rc multiply by t so this equation will be given in your exam paper why we, i am not mentioning this here actually this is the y intercept value generally we don't bother about the intercept value we have to only find the resistance value because that is our objective what is our objective input impedance input impedance is nothing but the impedance refers the resistance clear so we don't bother about the intercept value that's what i am not mentioning this here so in the exam paper also we will give the equation like this so you have to rearrange this equation how you can rearrange it's a very easy you can just have a look here we are going to find the resistance so rearrange this equation resistance which is equal to you have to bring this natural log of v to the right hand side of the denominator so your equation will become minus 1 divided by natural log of v multiplied by c and here the entire term multiplied by t so here this t over natural log of v we are going to get from the graph actually it is nothing but it's a 1 over slope clear okay now we have to see the circuit diagram for this experiment we have to see the circuit diagram for this experiment you can just have a look of this circuit diagram we are going to use one power supply battery and we have to give the input as only 10 volt and we are going to fix one resistance value which carries the value of 10 kilo ohm and then we have two way switch we we are going to connect one variable capacitance box and we are going to use one ammeter as well as voltmeter but generally in this circuit diagram we don't bother about this ammeter the most important thing we are going to find only the voltmeter resistance so that means inside the voltmeter we have one resistance and that is our objective we are going to find what should be the value of that resistance clear so if you just have a look here we don't bother about this ammeter understand my dear so we just only take this voltmeter as our important thing so we are going to find the resistance which kept inside the voltmeter i told you already the resistance kept inside the voltmeter have a larger value it should be in terms of mega ohms understand okay now i have to tell you about the circuit diagram you can just have a look of this di this uh, apparatus just first see this circuit diagram and then i will tell you one by one so here we have a battery this is our battery clear so here we have to give the volt here so we have to give the volt here so two knobs you have one is for voltage adjustment another one for current adjustment generally you should not touch this current you have to only play with this voltage knob understand so touch this voltage knob set the voltage here as 10 volt i will show you once i just explain all these things understand and then you can just have a look here we have the resistance value 10 kilo ohm so if you just have a look of this apparatus we have two boxes one is orange color box another one is green color box so here the green color box is the capacitance box this box orange box is a resistance box so here we have to set 10 kilo ohms according to our circuit diagram we have to set 10 kilo ohm you can just have a look here we have different values 1 kilo ohm in terms of 10 ohm sorry 1 ohm 10 ohm 100 ohm 
1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm, and 1 mega ohm. So we have different types of resistance value, but we should not bother about these things. You have to kept all these things zero except this because we have to set 10 kilo ohm here. So because in the circuit diagram we gave the value of the resistance as 10 kilo ohm. So here I have to touch this knob to set one and the rest of the arrow marks should indicate zero. You can see here this one indicates zero, here it's zero, here it's zero, here it's zero and here we set a 10 kilo ohm that's what I put it in one and the rest of the two knobs are exactly zero. Clear? And then we have to set some capacitance value. Where is our capacitance here? You can just see here. This is our capacitance. So this value you have to fix here. Generally in this experiment, we are going to set our capacitance value as 5 microfarad. 5 microfarad. Farad is the unit for the capacitance. But how much value we are going to give in here? We are going to set 5 microfarad. What is the meaning for micro? 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 farad clear so we have to set this value here so again we can just have a look of this capacitance box we have different scales of readings of capacitance this is in terms of 100 picofarad this is in terms of nanofarad 10 nanofarad 100 nanofarad and 1 microfarad so we have to set the value here as 5 microfarad so these arrow marks exactly indicate 5 and the rest of the things you have to fix to 0 clear you can see here here 0 here 0, here 0, and but here there is no 0. Why? Because 100 picofarad is approximately equal to 0. Clear my dear? So pico means 10 to the power of minus 12. So that's what the 0 is not given. So better you can make this knob to 1. So even if you multiply with this value with 1, it is approximately equal to 0. But for the rest of the knobs, they give the 0 value. That's what I fix to 0. Clear? But the most important thing, you have to set the capacitance value as 5 microfarad here. Clear? And then you can just have a look here. We have two way switch and also the voltmeter. So you can just have a look here. We have two way switch here. On mode, off mode. Here the on refers to the charge mode. You can just have a look here. The, the letter is written here as charge. The word is written as charge. Charge indicates on state and discharge indicates actually the letters disappear here. Actually this is discharge. It refers the off state clear so initially what you have to do you have to put this uh, switch in the charge state that means on state clear and then here we are going to use one volt multimeter and what is the function of multimeter today we are going to make this multimeter as a voltmeter so you can see the arrow mark here this arrow indicates the voltage so today this multimeter is working as a voltmeter that's it and then we are going to use one stopwatch to find the time. So one of the easiest experiment and also one of the important experiment. Clear? Okay, what do you have to do? Let's we start from here. You have to set 10 volt. So first give the connection to the electricity, 220, 220 volt. And then you can just here, here back side is 220. That's what I just gave the connection here. And here you have to turn on this. Once you turn on, everything should be zero. So you have to touch this and you have to set 10 volt here. Okay, I set 10 volt. Understand? That's it. Once you give the input, let's we just come and have a look of this 10 volt. Because whatever the volt you set here, that volt should in should appear here. So 9.99 9 is approximately equal to 10. Why? Because we make the switch to on state. That means we are storing some charge in the capacitor. What is our capacitance value? 5 microfarad. So we store some charge here and after we store we are going to discharge that charge and with the help of that we are going to find the resistance present inside the voltmeter. Clear? So now we set 10 volt in the battery approximately it's closer to 10. So what you have to do just have a look here we have a stopwatch we are going to calculate the time. At a time t is equal to 0 what should be my volt here? 9.99 that's it you can just have a look of the table this is our table. There are different time parameters given and here we have the capacitance volt because we are setting 
we already said 5 microfarad in the in the capacitance box clear okay now you can just have a look here at time t is equal to 0 second what is our voltage 9.99 if you want you can just have a look one time one more time here at time t is equal to 0 second this is my voltage now have a look here for every 20 seconds you are going to check the voltage in the multimeter that's it so what i am going to do you can just have a look here better i can keep the paper near to the voltmeter voltmeter here is nothing but our multimeter so what i am going to do i am going to turn on this stopwatch at the same time you have to change the switch to off state that means discharge state this is our charge state because what is our objective of our experiment we are going to find the input resistance of the voltmeter by using the discharge of the capacitor clear so when you are about to turn on this stopwatch immediately you have to move this switch to the discharge mode so just have a look here have a look here one two three sorry i will check one more time because this is more sensitive one two three okay when time comes 20 second you have to find what is your voltage so have a look here when time comes 20 second what should be the volt six point seven seven and when times come 40 second what should be the volt that means every 20 second difference your interval you are going to find the voltage so now you have to see here once the time reach 40 second what should be the volt 4.54 4 and then when times come 60 second what should be the volt 3.08 volt clear so likewise my dear i don't want to fill this table so you can just have a look here for every 20 seconds you have to fill this table so here i just gave the answer for the four reading when time come 40 80 second what should be the volt when times come 100 second what should be the volt likewise you have to fill this table that's it so only thing you have to fill the voltage once you complete this column it's very easy you have to use your calculator so i will just show you the calculation here natural log of v what is our v our v is 9.99 so turn on your calculator natural log is here natural log of 9.99 what's the value only two digit after the decimal so 2.30 likewise natural log of 6.77 So if you just see here 1.91 likewise natural log of 4.54 1.51 natural log of 3.08 1.12 so once you complete this voltage you have to use your calculator to fill this natural log of v clear and after you fill this table it's very easy you are going to draw the graph for what you are going to draw the graph you are going to draw the graph for natural log of v versus t that means this value should be in your y-axis this value should be in your x-axis so for today graph it will be a little bit different you can just have a look here you have to take your natural log in y-axis and the unit my dear whenever you take the natural log of the voltage it's unitless don't write the unit as voltage okay if you write voltage is here as a unit it's wrong so that there will be no unit for this but the x-axis what you are going to do we are going to take the time and what's the unit for the time second so for today experiment the graph will be coming from increase to the decrease mode so that means your graph will come like this So you have to connect this line by using your ruler. 
and then you have to find the slope so you have to find the slope so what's the slope my dear my slope is exactly y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in y axis we took the natural log of v in x axis we took the time so my answer for the slope is exactly equal to natural log of v over t and the unit is 1 over second why 1 over second because there will be no unit for this natural log of v only the time has the unit as second so the unit for the slope is 1 over second clear now let's we just go back to our main equation what is our main equation my dear this is our main equation after you rearrange this equation in terms of resistance you will get this equation i will write this equation here so what is our equation my dear r is exactly equal to minus 1 over uh, c t over natural log of v if you just have a look here it is exactly the same i just take the c in front and then i try natural log of the second over. so our equation is here now you can just have a look here we have one negative sign when you are about to calculate the slope you will get the negative slope my dear the answer for the slope should be the negative value and here you have one more negative so if you just take the slope value when you substitute here you can just have a look here my slope is natural log of v over t but here we have t over natural log of v so how you have to write you have to write minus 1 over c and this is nothing but 1 over slope and i told you you will get the slope in terms of negative so this negative slope and this negative get cancelled and finally you will get the resistance and the unit for the resistance is oh my dear generally the value of the resistance is in terms of mega ohms generally your answer will be 10 mega ohms answer should be closer to 10 or 11 mega ohms clear so the main thing we find the resistance inside the voltmeter i told you generally the voltmeter the, the resistance inside the voltmeter carries the very larger value so you'll get 10 mega ohms that will be the answer for this experiment so if you just take the reading take the reading of the slope substitute here the negative slope cancel this negative and finally you will get the positive my dear there will be no resistance with negative value only positive value of the resistance will be acceptable if you got negative of resistance it is wrong clear the most important thing this negative cancel this negative so your answer will comes in positive clear my dear so this is the this is the procedure experiment explanation for experiment number 6, discharge of the capacitor. Thank you.